But you know, one of the options that will never be on the table, take it from me, mm. is that Peter B is not going to run as vice president to anybody. You know, this is obviously the very best, the, the, you know, the best that we have. So, you know, is it not about time in this country that we stop sacrificing merit for mediocrity? And that brings me to my next Why question. Why should Peter B be second to anybody? Okay. Uh, it's clear to me from what I've seen, and um, I'm a very experienced politician and I know what I'm talking about, it would be impossible to defeat Peter Obi in this primary. It's absolutely impossible. Tony Okubi was the campaign DG of Mr. Pitobi in the 2023 presidential election. He was forced to resign his position after the EFCC indicted him for corruption, money, laundering. According to Tony Okubi, he said he will be supporting Labour Party and Mr. Pitobi from the background. Few months after, Bola Metinibu was inaugurated as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Donio Kwe tweeted that he has left the Labour Party. He described the Labour Party as SPV, a special purpose vehicle that was used to carry out his political ambition. Well, with the way SPV was used with Atiku Abubakar as a special purpose vehicle for laundering money, many people did not agree with him for using the word SPV with the Labour Party, including Kenneth Okonko, who went on the national television and said he is wrong for using that word. However, ever since he left the Labour Party, even before he left the Labour Party, he has been tweeting in support of Bola Metinibu administration. He was someone that was apprehensive of Bola Metinibu. He was someone that supported Mr. Peter B wholeheartedly. And many people were of the opinion that Doni Okupe was working for Bola Metinibu. You will not doubt them because looking at who Bola Metinibu is, he is someone that is very crafty when he's doing his political calculation game. During the APC 2023 presidential primary, Bola Metinibu was alleged to have bought presidential tickets for so many persons. On the day of the primary, those people stepped down for Bola Metinibu and many people did not see that coming, which swayed a lot of vote in his favor. Among the people that stepped down for him was Goswin Ababi, who is now the Senate president. Of course, you all know that Bola Metinibu supported him fully to become the Senate president president however that's by the way Doni Okube has been tweeting in favor of Bola Metinibu and he went on a live television and said that Bola Metinibu is the best presidential candidate ahead of Mr. Peter Obi. now that generated a lot of reaction online and people began to openly call out his hypocrisy for saying that Bola Metinibu is better than Mr. Peter Obi. come on we are seeing what is happening Bola Metinibu is the president currently one year in office and Nigerians are going through the most excruciating pains in the history of this country. Bola Metinibu has not done anything to warrant that statement from someone who was a campaign DG of Peter Robi. That interview was the last straw that broke the camel's back and many people not called Doyo Okupe for who he truly is, a saboteur. Doyo Okupe took to his ex-account to drop a tweet that read, it is a coincidence that nearly 80% of those who insult, abuse, disparage and are intolerant of my views on this platform are from one ethnic nationality. Whoa, I've been a nationalist all my life and politics. Freely, I went out of my way on principle to support the Southeast quest for presidency. Doni Okube is close to 70 years, above 70 years. Look at what an elder is writing on Twitter. He is simply disparaging the whole Southeast region, bringing the region to disrepute because he wants to prove a point. So many persons have said that for you to work for Bola Metinibu, you must do one thing, turn the entire P2B presidency to be an ethnic quest. You must duck whistle the Southeast. That is what Reno Mokria is what Daniel Bwala, and this is what Doni Okubwe has started doing. What a shame. Now, let's continue. Let me reveal more things to you. A PDP supporter dropped this tweet on 10th of January 2024. He said, Honestly, now I'm beginning to believe that Tinibu is a political maestro. He sent Boala to PDP to get intelligence and also sent Donyo Kube to deceive P2B in order to get a divided opposition. The two agents all came out the same week. Now look at Donyo Kube's reaction to that tweet. He's clapping to what the guy said and he's laughing. What does that tell you? 
Now take a look at another tweet. This one is from Soldier. This guy is an APC supporter, an Albadoma, and he said, They said OBJ supported OB for bat to win all in a bid to continue his infinite vendetta on Atiku. So Baju was just a pound to everyone. Okupe was stationed close to him to get him the belief he was a pan Nigerian support. Now look at Donny Okupe's reaction. There is God though, and he was laughing. With all this evidence and explanation, what does it tell you? It tells you that Donny Okupe was a mole. He was planted there in Labour Party with Mr. Peter Robey to give sensitive information to the opposition. Where we all have to be thankful to God that Peter Robey is still alive. Because it's obvious that this man was surrounded with so much enemy. And this is what you need to understand. When Peter B said that I'm going to destroy the structure of criminality, he knows what he was talking about. You have to understand that the people that hold sway to power in this country, they will not leave that power like that. They will not leave that power go scot free. Even if it means burning down the whole country, they will do it. Hey, the people that are holding sway to power, in 2020, Nigerians went on the streets to protest against police brutality. President Muhammadu Bari said that that protest was against him. That protest, they wanted to remove him in office. And what happened? They sent military. Military murdered innocent Nigerians in Lekki Target. Till date, some of them are still in police custody. Those that were killed are nowhere to be found. It shows you how the people that are holding political power in this country, how far they can go to ensure that they hold on to that political power. It shows you that this country is run, is being run by a criminal gang. When Peter B said, I want to destroy this structure of criminality, he knows what he's talking about. Even in the Labour Party, a lot of people worked underground to undermine Peter B winning the election. Look at the way Labour Party was even moving. They were not even serious. They were not serious. It was the obedient movement that was propagating the presidency of, of Mr. P. Toby. The obedient movement were the one that was pushing forward. They were doing everything. Labour Party was just dragging their feet. P. Toby's campaign was all about the obedient. A lot of sabotage. You think this boy will leave power? But it pains me because Donyok will claim to be a pan-African. He claimed to be an elder. Well, Obasanjo has warned us about Donyo Kube. These men that call themselves elder statesmen, they are enjoying the structure of criminality. If Nigeria is working, these men will be irrelevant. These are career politicians. Without the systemic problem we are having in this country, without the rot in this country, these men will be irrelevant. So they will do everything possible to support a criminal government because they want to remain relevant. A bit of big government will not give them chance. A bit of big government will not give them opportunity to loot. A bit of big government will not give them an opportunity to turn politics into tribalism. A bit of big government will not give them an opportunity to do what they are doing. Imagine a bit of big government. How will Reno no mockery feed? How would that Wala feel? Now he said he supported Peter B because of the South East Quest for presidency. I think this is becoming too stale. Because Peter B was the only presidential candidate that went about telling people, don't vote for me because I'm from the South East. Vote for me because you believe I'm competent. You believe I can turn the situation of this country around, not because I'm from the South East. So him using that word is to make the obedient movement to become a South East movement, to become an Igbo agenda. And this is what they've been trying to do. They want to label the obedient movement as an Igbo agenda. They have even called some persons in the obedient movement IPOB. They've called the obedient movement a wing of the IPOB. They've done that. So you need to understand the battle ahead. You need to understand what is happening in this country. This man does not want a working Nigeria. It doesn't favor them. A working Nigeria does not favor them. It favors you. Because you are the one that is suffering the bad leadership that this country is dishing out to you. Are you going to fold your hands and watch these selfish people that call themselves elders? These people are not elders in my eye, in my opinion. They are not elders. These are selfish, wicked lot. Selfish, cruel people that want to hold this country ransom, that want to hold this country hostage. Are you going to allow them to continue with their wickedness? See, liberating this country is not all about Mr. P2B. P2B is just a leader. For this country to be liberated, it needs the total support and cooperation of every Nigerian. If you're tired of this country, if you're tired the way this country is going, if you're tired of what you are seeing in this country, if you want to destroy this 
this structure of criminality, if you want to end the, 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 the pillage that is going on in this country, the looting, the destruction, the, the criminal gang up in this country, if you want that to end, then you must all rally behind Mr. Pikibi. You, you, you have seen that the people around him <laughs> are not people that, to be, that, that are to be trusted. The only person that Mr. Pikibi to be trust are Nigerians, you and I. You must rally behind him and support him and ensure that we win this election for him. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.